A week since Israel declared war on Hamas, the country has mobilized more than 300,000 reservists for what's widely believed to be an unprecedented ground offensive into Gaza. Israel's strategic objective? Well, to dismantle Hamas's military infrastructure and cripple its capacity for future assaults. It's not clear when or how or even if it will occur. But Israel's previous experience in Gaza could yield clues as to what this urban warfare may look like. And the last time Israeli forces entered Gaza was nearly a decade ago, during a 50-day-long conflict with Palestinian fighters. Israel then mobilized some 75,000 reservists carrying out a joint air, land and sea campaign. Israel's military is considered among the world's best, bolstered by nearly $4 billion in annual funding from the U.S. Its main weapons include the thousands of tanks and artillery and hundreds of fighter jets. And not to mention more than half a million active and reserve personnel combined. While it's unclear how Hamas compares, the group has one advantage, its familiarity with Gazan terrain, home to more than 2 million residents. The Gaza Strip spans across some 360 square kilometers. This narrow enclave in the Middle East surrounded by Israel, Egypt and the Mediterranean Sea is one of the most densely populated places in the world. Formidable as Israel's tanks are, they could prove vulnerable in the labyrinthine streets of Gaza. One report notes that Israel defense forces tend to use the same approach routes given how they are limited by the three crossing points available. Plus, the dense and tall buildings along the approach roads could provide cover for Hamas or vantage points for its snipers. Some experts say Israel will also have to breach a nearly 500-kilometer system of underground tunnels operated by Hamas. Israel destroyed more than 100 kilometers of them in 2021, but Hamas repeatedly invested in rebuilding. It allegedly paid for it by diverting millions of dollars of funding meant for Palestinian aid. And there is another challenge Israel will have to contend with. More than 100 Israeli hostages are spread around Gaza soldiers and civilians, including women and children. Hamas is holding them captive, and the group is threatening to kill a hostage every time Gaza is attacked by the Israeli military without warning. So could Israel win a war, a ground war in Gaza, that is? The human and military cost could be heavy. Israel might want to deal a fatal blow to Hamas, but it comes with a complex set of variables, some of which cannot be calculated in advance.